Hi guys! Thank you so much for visiting uh, Riders United uh, YouTube channel. I have a quick episode today about the uh, packing for the trip. I will be going to a little trip to North Carolina pretty soon, so I thought that I will use this occasion to record a short video what I take with me on those trips and hopefully that will be able to help somebody especially if you have the bike with the similar capacity for the for the luggage so here we go so there are a few basic rules for packing your bike when you are going for the longer trip and one of the most important one is uh, to actually make sure that you will pack all the heavy stuff on the bottom of your saddlebag so basically you have a really nice low center of the gravity for the bike which uh, help with the stability during your uh, during your uh, travel so i always uh, try to take uh, basic tools on the bottom of my bags and the things that are definitely heavier and the higher i go i will try to put a little bit lighter things and most of the time on the on the tour pack that I have on my bike I will sometimes uh, put the helmet or maybe some uh, light jacket or some uh, uh, clothes that are rather light so let me just uh, show you what I do and uh, how I do that and uh, that will hopefully help you out uh, in the future so the first thing that I do when I'm uh, when I'm getting ready to pack everything I will just remove everything from my saddlebag and also from my tour pack and I also have like this uh, little bag up front so I will remove everything from uh, from those places just to kind of see how much uh, space I have and depending on uh, what I try to take I try to just manage these compartments so let me just uh, show you how much uh, storage space I have on this uh, heritage and hopefully you will get the idea what you can take uh, with you on your next trip and how to how to pack it if possible so this is my uh, windshield bag and as you can see it's not like a really big really small most of the time what i will try to put in here is maybe the power bank and maybe some gloves just some uh, basic uh, basic uh, items that i kind of feel i'm using quite a bit if I have uh, different glasses for night riding and day riding, this is probably also the space for it. So this is what I got up front. So this is my left saddle bag. And yeah, this is how much spice I have in here. So you will notice I have this uh, little bag in here. And what I have inside is actually the set of keys to lock my saddle bag. And I also have the battery so I thought that I will maybe show that in here. So sometimes I don't want to carry this uh, keys with me. So you will see I have the saddlebag key. So this one is for the saddlebag. I have uh, extra battery for my key fob, which actually I will have to replace because uh, I start getting notification on my dash that my battery is low. And this is the key for the tour pack. So this is my right saddlebag. So I will show you how much space I have in here. This one is a little bit smaller because there is exhaust under here. So not that much space in here, but as you can see, I also have the garage opener in here that I just put on the Velcro just so I can open the saddlebag and kind of like open my garage. So this is the space from the, from the saddlebag on the right side. And now, obviously, my tour pack. This is uh, really helpful to have. And there is uh, quite a bit of space in here. And just to give you the idea, I can probably put the helmet in here, like full face helmet, and maybe just a little bit more than that, something on the side. So, of course, uh, one of the heaviest item that we can put on the bike are the tools. So I always try to take uh, at least a little bit of the, of the tools with me, just uh, some basic stuff, just so I have something in case of uh, any like uh, issue with my bike. So I have like a few wrenches and I also have uh, some pliers and a little piece of the metal string 
just in case. And I also put maybe like 20 bucks inside of the bag just to make sure that uh, this is kind of like a, a little security in case I will run out of the money or anything will happen with my wallet or whatever might happen. At least I thought that I would put maybe 20 bucks, 30 bucks inside of this uh, tool bag. So in case I would like to get some extra gas or I would like to make the phone call or I mean whatever might be necessary, I thought that uh, this is like a really nice security. So this is always uh, what I do for my, for my own security. So those compression bags are uh, really helpful items that I thought I will mention in this video because uh, they for sure saved me like multiple times. And this is basically just a synthetic material bag that allow you to put a lot of stuff in it and just compress it. And I have to say the material is extremely strong so you can really get on it and, and kind of compress this clothes or whatever you might have inside. And I did that in the past and I'm definitely plan to do the same thing on this trip. And as you can see, this bag in here, which is quite compact, I mean, I can probably squeeze it even more and, and get it even like more spacing or more space uh, for, for the storage out of it. I keep all my rain gear in here. So, I mean, Harley rain gear is, uh, is rather bulky. So as you can see, this is just uh, something that is really helpful to compress your clothes and kind of like get extra uh, storage in your bike just by pushing this down and, and kind of squeezing it in, in your saddlebag. I thought that I will share this uh, neat trick how to prepare the change for the whole day for clothes and mainly like t-shirt and also the socks. So what you will do, you will put the briefs inside, you will kind of fold it in here and also on this side what you will do right now you will put your socks in here with the opening side on this side and also opening on the opposite side and what you will do right now you will roll it and try to compress it as much as you can Okay. So what you will do right now, you will take this opening of the sock and cover everything. Just like this. Same thing on the opposite side. And here you go. This is your daily change of clothes. And as you can see, it's really nice and compact. So I hope uh, that will help somebody out. As far as I know, this is a military setup that a lot of uh, soldiers learn how to pack those up. But I thought it was really helpful for somebody going on the longer trip on the motorcycle that would like to save some space. So this is... Uh, the change for clothes, for basic stuff, for four days. I will have, of course, another set on myself, so I will have, um, I will be ready for five days. And this trip will be probably about like eight, ten days. So sometimes I will just like wash this stuff on the way, and yeah, just to make sure that I have everything nice and fresh. So what I will do right now, I will actually use this compression bags, and I bought those in the local store that have the stuff for campers. So I will push it in here. This material is super strong. You can really kind of get on it. And here you go. And just press it. And as you can see, this is four days worth of clothes. And I still have like plenty of space in here. So I can still put some other items in there, whatever you would like to take with you. But I'm gonna stop with this. 
what is the idea behind it that you will basically squeeze it and release the air and able to compress this whole thing. That should do it for me as far as the AD clothes. So those are my tools. They will go on the bottom, as I mentioned. So a really kind of nice space in here. I also have the first aid kit, which is quite compact, about 20 bucks from Harley Davidson. You can buy them a little bit cheaper, but this one was uh, really nice and neat. Have everything that you will need. So we have those two items. And right now, I will put my rain gear. I'll try to squeeze it in. There is always like really nice space on the right side in here. So what I will do, I will also put the cover for my seat. I have a leather seat, so I always try to protect it from the rain. So this is really nice space up there. So yeah, I mean, I put it, the whole thing up there and still have a lot of space. Almost my whole hand kind of fits there. So good to keep that in mind. And those are my uh, clothes changes for about four days. So I will try to put them in here. As you can see, everything kind of fits really nicely in here. Kind of gave me still a really nice flat surface in here. So I will probably put my sunscreen up there because this is really easy access to this thing. If you open the bag, have really easy access to it. And most of the time I will use my air hog. So this is kind of like really nice idea to finish everything up as far as this nice flat surface for this bag and I still have plenty of space in here so I can push it a little bit so I'm gonna just leave this little space for some additional items that I might put later on maybe like gloves or maybe like the rag that I use for like wiping my windscreen so those are my keys so this is always on top to allow easy access. I will try to close the bag. As you can see, no problem with that. Open, close. So this is the left bag. So the tour pack, I have to say, this is really helpful. It have plenty of space in here. Just to give you the idea, I always try to put the helmet in here just to make sure that I can leave it in my tour pack in case I would like to go somewhere, just to make sure it's nice and secure, you can lock this one up. And the next thing, I will probably put some uh, toiletries. So I just have some basic stuff. I try to have everything compact. I always take the powder for the monkey butt and of course the toothpaste, some sh stick and yeah, just basic stuff. And I have like a tiny little perfume that I take just to make sure I smell good for my wife so probably on the left side in here and yeah I will take some masks just because of the latest uh, environment and in here I will also put like the sweatshirt and what will what I will try to do I will try to kind of like uh, wrap my helmet wrap it around the helmet just to make sure that uh, my shield is nicely protected. And this is also a really nice uh, item to have handy in case it gets colder or anything. Yeah, you can just grab it and, and have it ready. I have some uh, wipes just in case. I also have uh, some gloves in case I would like to just go to the gas station and don't touch the handle or just for general purposes in case I will have to like fix something. I mean, it's always a good idea to have the gloves. So whatever I would like to have like really handy, I will put it in here in the, in the tour pack. And for example, I will put my 
rag in here. I will use this rag to just wipe my uh, front uh, windshield. So this is always a good idea to have something like that. And I also have the thermos that I always try to have with me. So as you can see, this is pretty neat setup. And I still have like quite a space in here on the back. So I might put something else in here, but I will leave you guys with the decision what to put there because I realized that everybody needs different things. So yeah, this is about 90% filled up. You can close the bag really nicely. And yeah, I kind of uh, like to carry this kind of stuff in my tour pack. So whatever I have uh, readily available or something that I, that I use during the travel, I will use the tour pack for it. So this leaves us with the, the whole uh, right saddle bag that is empty right now. I will try to put the leather jacket in there. And as you can see, it's filling up a lot of space. So yeah, probably something like that will work. So this will still leave me probably about one third of this uh, saddle bag for any additional items that I might consider to take with me. And yeah, this is uh, kind of how I pack for those uh, three bags which still uh, leaves me the front bag for these uh, little items on the, on the windshield. Okay, as far as my uh, windshield bag, I always have the space for the power bank. I always need some extra power. And this is really neat place for it because I also have the cable that is coming out from here. So I can always charge it if necessary. I mean, this is for my phone, but I can change the change the cable and kind of like get this uh, thing uh, powered up. So I always have my power bank in here. I always uh, try to take my glasses and I also have a bandana or rather the, the buff thing that I use quite a bit. So I will wrap my glasses just to make sure that they don't scratch and I will put them in there and of course lately I try to carry some extra stickers there so as you can see this is really nice space that left in there you can probably put like really thin gloves or something there so yes that will probably do for the front back for me so I hope that you found this uh, short episode uh, helpful Maybe it will help you to kind of get ready for your next trip, just to at least show you the main items that I'm taking. I still have a little bit of storage space, but I realize that all of us have different preferences for the stuff that we are taking with us. So I will just say, probably I should stop the video right now because you guys will probably pack a little bit the different things that I will pack. And I mean, for me, GoPro is lately like uh, one of the latest uh, uh, items that I never had before, but I will have to carry with me on this trip. So I really hope that uh, you found this episode helpful. As always, uh, thank you so much for your time. Please uh, like and subscribe. You have the button on the right corner of your screen. I also have the Instagram account and the Facebook group called the Riders United Motorcycle Group. So I hope that uh, you guys can uh, submit some comments. I always will be happy to reply to any questions that you might have. And this is everything I got for you today. So ride safe, safe, and I hope to see you on the road one day. Bye-bye, guys.